and uh, it, it was a guy who quit working for him or got fired, I don't know which, which they did a lot of firing. They brought these negotiators in to negotiate with us uh, over getting the access to whatever they wanted. They went through about five negotiators. They'd be here one day and one of them would make a little promise they didn't want to keep. They'd fire him yeah. and bring in another one. This went on for a good year, I guess they were they were firing. So finally they brought the cream of the crop here. Working uh, for the working for Spectre. Working for Spectre. Yeah. Uh, I guess you'd call him the big guns. That little creep up there. <laughs> At the D and M, and his name was. Uh, yeah. yeah. I once told him he was a snake in the grass. <laughs> so, you know how him and I get you, along. You don't pull any punches, do you? I, I just say it the way it is. Right on. Actually, I told them when Spectre came, they had a uh, outing up there at the school, and they invited the whole community in, and they were telling us what all they were going to do. And there is where I was informed that they didn't pay anything for storage, only the lease. And I said to them straight out right there, in other words, we paid you hillbillies enough. Now we're going to take the rest of it for ourselves. And that's what I quoted, and it was on one of those things. <laughs> and within 15 minutes, they had about five engineers there telling me that that wasn't snow. And the more they talked, the more I knew I was right. <laughs> and I've never backed away from that. I've called them thieves many times. Right? Mm -hmm. Uh, let's just change direction a little bit. You specifically, your beef, I guess, with Spectre and is over money. It's everything. I don't like what they did to health, but I, absolutely. Uh, you know, she's proceeding and uh, proceeding with health, and and a bunch of others are, and I got nothing against that. But nobody is telling them how much they're beating us out of money. Yeah. I mean, if they're going to take her health, they could at least pass for it. Right. That's the way I feel about it. That's. You know, they pay me enough, I'll say to hell with you, I'll go to on an island somewhere where they're not drawn for you. And when you're talking money and, and what it's cost you, you know, I've heard some different things today about what it's cost other people. What's it cost at your farm? Do you have a farm? What's it cost you at your farm? I mean, they put wells in your land. Okay, so what are you saying? I mean, it hasn't, as far as the farming operation, it hasn't cost anything there. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying yeah. anything, I'm yeah. asking. Um, now, what I did the there, I retired. I told you that I was going to retire, and I did. Yeah. I was retiring right when they were drilling the gas. As a matter of fact, I had a public sale while they were what, uh, drilling What would you there. grow? Huh? What would you grow? Dairy, beef. Okay. I raised my own alfalfa and corn silage. And there's no like cows that. out there anymore? Oh, yeah. But yeah. You come by there, they, there's a guy just rented it here. It, it's a good dairy farm. Uh, you could see that manure pit sitting there in front of it. Uh, mm -hmm. Paid a hundred thousand dollars. He's, for that. he's still renting from you. So yeah, I just he's a new renter. I had a renter in there for seven years, and and uh, he was a young guy and he wanted to do something else, so he quit. And I thought I'd have a terrible time getting it rented, but it it rented right away. I so it would be safe to say that if your ponds and stuff became polluted and. Because I've heard in the, in the area today, there's people aren't eating their own cows, but it would it would be safe to say that, that guy wouldn't want to rent that land anymore to raise cows on, maybe. Okay, last fall I spent nine hundred dollars to have tests done. That's a tough. For them to tell me that my farm was safe to rent, I did not feel that I could rent a farm without it being safe. Right. So that's I, a direct cost to you. And I wanted them to tell me the testers. I wanted them to tell me that my farm was safe to rent. And you had this done by a private company? Yeah. Okay. And, and I, I did this completely on my own because I did not want Spectre to pay for a test. You know, it was my test. It was you not Spectre's you test. You don't trust them. I don't <laughs> trust Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I trust them about as far as I can throw them. Mm -hmm. Well, before we wrap it up, is there anything that I didn't ask you about or that you'd like to just add for anybody that might be listening who has to deal with a gas company? Well... I'll make that statement is that by them taking the money, that means I don't get an income from them. That means I don't pay income tax on that money, which when I was getting a check, every time I got three or four checks, they got they got one of them. Right. That's what the tax was. They were getting 33% is what they were getting of what I paid. Now that stopped. 
the county and the state or the federal, none of them are getting anything from these people. They're in there now, and our county is doing a tax reassessment right now to try to raise the price of taxes on the landowners and farmers and so on. Are they and, basing that because of the influx of gas? Well, I don't know whether it's because of gas, but they want more money, and here the gas is going out of this county for nothing. Yeah. And they're taxing landowners to make them pay these bills, try to make them pay these bills for the state and the county. And uh, here these people are taking millions out of this right gas storage area, and they don't pay anything. They pay no taxes. Right. And, and so that's what I say. The county's coming back here now trying to get more out of us landowners, and, and those guys are making millions of dollars right underneath their land. They're paying nothing. They're paying me a buck and a half an acre. Quick question about, let's say they've been here 10 years or so. What have you noticed in that 10 years as far as economics in the, in the local area? Any, any changes? There were some of us during those first years that had a royalty check and we spent a lot of money. And, and of course, some of us invested money. I had my farm and I had everything paid for. So mostly I, I took my retirement and I put it in my retirement funds and so on like that. But as far as uh, money to be spent, I mean, there was a house. We were gonna maybe spend, uh, we built a new house over Clearville. We were gonna maybe spend $100,000 on the house. Actually, we probably doubled what doubled what on it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that helped the builder. That helped the right. It put money into the community building supply and everything mm -hmm. else. And I wasn't the only one that did things like that, was it? There was other people who spent money. And you guys spend money. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell them about FERC? FERC. FERC was in the gas company's pocket. Who's this guy? Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. Okay. They they get paid a government salary, and they're right in in uh, the pocket of these gas people. And you know, when I'm talking about these gas people, I'm not just talking about this group here. I'm talking about the whole bunch of them all over the state. They have been getting away with this kind of theft for so long that they actually think they're entitled to it. They're, they're no longer thinking of themselves as thieves. Maybe they never did, but they were and they are. And they, they've been stripping people, landowners. They, they give me a dollar and a half an acre for their lease. The farmer on top of the ground doesn't make near the money. He's probably paying me $25 an acre. And he's not going to make near the money those people down there do. Those people... Comparison. Those people, when they're making a decision to spend money, where I would have spent a hundred dollars and made a decision as to do it, that decision to them is no more important than that for a million. They mm -hmm. spend a million like I spend a hundred. Right. In the time we would take to decide to spend a hundred, they'll take the time to spend a million, and mm -hmm. they, they take nothing up. Just say they didn't do it. Anything else? <sighs> I'm sure I'll come up with some more later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thanks, Paul, and uh, I guess we'll end it there. Thank Good you very much. Right.